Hey, you are on the right path if you are wondering what disease did Susanna suffer in Brain on Fire. Brain on Fire is a 2016 biographical drama on the memoir of Susanna published in 2009. It is based on true story and guys, to be very honest, I'm completely obsessed by this film. It has been a major spotlight for me being a medical student from last few days. It has ultimately compelled me to compose all of my tons of research into a video, which I'm presenting right now. So let's begin. This video is based on Susanna Kahlan, a New York writer who begins to suffer a mysterious illness, including flu-like symptoms like feeling sick and sluggish. She begins to hear people, hear certain voices which do not exist. She begins to suffer from hallucinations, delusions, agitations, and eventually epileptic seizures after being evaluated extensively by many doctors as bipolar or alcoholic withdrawal syndrome. And finally, she was diagnosed to be psychotic. And she would have been probably died of insufficiency encephalitis or committed to psychiatric ward if it weren't for the skillful efforts of Syrian American neurologist Sohel Nashar who diagnosed her with anti and MDA receptors encephalitis aka brain on fire as Nashar got her to draw a clock face and she drew exactly half a clock face it has been a concrete evidence that her right side of the brain was inflamed it gave an evidence as well as a biopsy confirmed his hunch. Kahlan was the 217th person who was diagnosed with this and she was very lucky to cover it, recover it completely. So let me introduce the real Susanna Kahlan with her passionate doctor Sohel Nishar. Now the real question that begins is that what is anti NMDA receptor encephalitis or maybe brain on fire which I have said before. So let's begin. Guys what happened is that we do have certain mechanisms in our body which are responsible for protecting us against germs, viruses or maybe other harms. But sometimes what happens is that your own body starts recognizing as something strange or maybe foreign, your own parts of your own cells in this condition in particular. Antibodies of your own immune system attacks a receptor which is called NMDA, which is found in your brain and which is responsible for controlling, controlling electrical impulses in the brain and maybe autonomic functions, maybe thinking or certain behavioral, behavioral responses. So we can say in simple words that NT and MDA receptor encephalitis is an inflammation of the brain due to antibodies. So guys, what do you think? Should I move to symptoms? Yeah, for sure. So there are the following symptoms which patients observe when suffering from NT and MDA receptor encephalitis. So in the very starting, they begin to suffer from flu. Then they used to observe memory debits, then they used to observe sleep disorders, then speech dysfunction. They may be completely unable to communicate even in their coherent languages. Then the status part seizures or epileptic, epileptic seizures. Then they also have certain behavioral disturbances along with catatonia and catatonia is basically a movement disorder in which a person is isolated for maybe sometimes or hour or many days holding the same position again. Then there comes loss of consciousness. They become completely unresponsive during the disease. Before moving to the treatment, I would like you all to consider or to listen to me carefully that there are around 7% of out of 100% who is still die after being treated very properly unfortunately but the patients being treated properly are recovering from this disease maybe partially or completely to recover from this disease is a prolonged process it may take 18 months or more so the treatment for this disease is immunotherapies which is being recommended by the physicians 